In today's tech video, we are going to review HBO Max and see what it has to offer. So I just downloaded HBO Max down here on the bottom uh, part of my screen here. I'm going to be opening up for the very first time. I am using a Samsung TV here, but I'm sure this will look the same on uh, whatever TV that you have that you're downloading HBO Max on. Okay, so you'll get to the home screen here where it asks you if you want to subscribe now, or if you already have an account, you'll sign in there or to restore, restore a purchase. But since this is the first time that I'm going to be subscribing, I'm going to click on subscribe now. Okay, so you'll come to this screen next here, and this is where you can create an account to stream on your devices. Uh, what you'll do is you'll sign into hbomax.com backslash TV sign in, and then there will be a code right here. Uh, this is my particular code that I have blurred out, but it's going to be different on every TV, but you'll enter in that code once you sign in on your phone or your computer. Okay, after you sign in, it takes you to this screen here where you can start to create and manage profiles. So as you can see right here, it has my name, but then I can go down here to add um, my wife's name, or uh, if you have kids, you can add in uh, your kids right here. But this is um, where you create the different profiles. All right, so we'll go ahead and log in and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the interface for it. Um, it looks a little bit like Netflix, uh, where it's got a featured movie on the very top here and then you can scroll down and then they just they have the just added tab here where it's got the movies that are in this uh, theaters right now so for example the little things right here is currently in the theaters um, but you just scroll over and these are all the new media that they have added to their streaming player okay so let's say you do decide to watch the little things here you would just go to its tab you'll click enter takes you to this screen here on the bottom left you'll see where it says it's got that play icon and then you can change the subtitles on there if you want it's got plus icon so that way you can add it to your like watch list um, so I'll go ahead and click it there and then it's got extras in case you want to watch some of the little featurettes that it has or you just go to play and then start playing it okay so now I, I added it to my list you can see it now it's got a category when you are on the home screen that'll have your list at the top and then right below it it's got your just added then you can go down again and they have episodes that are exclusive to HBO Max uh, for example you have the Selena chef show here the painting with John and just scroll over here and see all the different types of shows that they have to offer that have multi episodes down here they have a popular on TV category this flight attendant is one of the more popular ones that are drawing people to HBO Max it's got friends and then it looks like it has the office uh, the UK version of the office your Game of Thrones which is highly popular it's got all the series and the episodes for that on here the Big Bang Theory Sopranos keeps on going on and on here it's got some of your family friendly content uh, with animated films and then you can go down another tab and it's got the popular movies in case you just wanted to have a night in and watch movies um, I see they do have the mummy collection right here, the Kings of St Staten Island, Kong, Godzilla, Suicide Squad, and so on. Uh, another great feature with HBO Max is that they signed a deal with one of the big networks, TV movie making networks, to where whenever they release a movie out on a theater, they're also going to release it on HBO Max as well. All right, and then here's another tab here with HBO Highlights, uh, highlighting one of the more popular series that they have, like The Undoing, and then this one here, which is Tiger, a documentary on that. And you can scroll over a little bit more and see all the other ones that they have to offer. Okay, they have a category called Straight from the Heart. Keep going down, they got Action Packed, uh, Black History Month, and then HBO Hubs to where if you have a particular hub that you're wanting to uh, take a look at you can look at it right here with all these different features that they have they got a comedy category here a new and notable animation category it's got all your animated films for your kids and then if you liked little things which is the the most popular movie being streamed on HBO Max right now they have some that relate to it so it remembers what you watched and then it gives recommendations based on that. Okay, if you are a sports fan, it's got a category for the big game here um, because the Super Bowl is coming up. They have a category here that is uh, displaying more of the football 
uh, movies that are popular on this platform. So you can just kind of scroll over here and uh, find a good sports flick. Uh, Watch with the family. This is one of my favorites here. So it's got more of the family friendly content because there's been countless times where I've been trying to search a good family friendly movie on Netflix and haven't been able to find a good one. But I like that they have it categorized right here. Uh, so that way if we want to have family movie night, we can watch it right here. All right, and if you're into period pieces, it does have uh, some of your more uh, popular period pieces like Lincoln, um, the Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, Phantom Thread here, uh, Downton Abbey, The Notebook, and so on. If you're into the true crime spree, uh, that does have a lot of content on there, like the Forensic Files and some more of its HBO original like I'll Be Gone in the Dark. So it looks like you have plenty to choose from if you do subscribe to this on a monthly basis. Uh, it's got a blockbuster franchises here where the movies that have multiple sequels, they got them listed on here. So I, I like how they have this all categorized. All right, and then so if you want to go over to the side low screen here, it's got where you can search up there where you can create another profile. Um, it's got movies, it's got a bake, broke, broken down by series, and then you can browse right here. Uh, let's go ahead and just go over to where it says movies and see what that looks like. All right, so it's got based on featured, uh, just added. It's got it broken down alphabetically A to Z. It's got the HBO Max originals, kids. It's got action, crime, comedy, documentaries, drama, fantasy, horror, international music, Latino, romance, sports. So it just breaks down its content by so many different categories. So you can definitely spend a lot of time watching movies and TV shows here on HBO Max. All right, we'll go over to the side load screen again and click on the series tab. And then right here, they do put their most popular ones on the very top, The Undoing, which was nominated for four Golden Globe Awards. But they have that broken down on Just Added also, alphabetically. And then they got it broken down by all the different genres like action, comedy, crime, documentaries. Okay, so this is a really good look at what HBO Max looks like. Um, comment down below. Are you going to get this? Are you going to subscribe to this? Or are you going to pass? Uh, but hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and click a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time. And I'd love to have you back on the next one. Take care.